about to start the third round of this Torsog City Grid King of Servers 2v2 team tournament. Uh, what you see on the screen are the IDs for each team that will be presented to their opponents. And we're about to begin the banning process as soon as our judge uh, gets everyone settled in for the round. And so in a couple of moments, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, both players rolling off to determine who gets the first pick. And of course, the way it's going to work is that the first team is going to choose any one ID of their opponents to ban for this match, which means neither player on the opposing team can play that ID for the entire match. Then the other team is going to choose both a runner and a corp ID that their opponents cannot play. Then going back to the first team, they will finally choose whichever side that they didn't choose in the first round of bannings. And then after that, both teams will go ahead and choose which player is going to be playing which ID. It's funny that you get so much overlap with the same ID. Smoke, smoke, I don't know if you said it yet. Okay, smoke, smoke, Kim, Kim, Scorp, Scorp. <laughs> wow, that's, so the only, yeah, so Tenon, Making news, Gabe. Well, I, I, I feel like uh, smoke is just such a, such a strong choice for the shaper. There's an Ayla. It's all somewhere. How many Aylas are there compared to how many smokes? Not enough. I see. If I'm up, if Kumar is first, or I guess if Kumar's team decides, I feel like they might want to get rid of Kim and uh, Scorpios because they do a lot of setup with their thing. And I feel like Dan might re uh, retaliate by removing uh, either uh, making news because none of their characters have Link, or their characters, the runners have yep. Link. And perhaps a Smoke or a Kim expecting the, the same kind of rude... Uh, I think that's about to happen. But we'll see what they finalize. But I, that's just my idea of which one to pick. Yeah. What do you... What do you uh, Let's see. If I was Kumar, uh, I agree. I think, I think a lot of the the decks that that Kumar has, like like the NBN, Scorpios, and Jinteki, they I think they all thrive on Operation Base Economy. Yes. So yeah, that's why Kim I think is the obvious ban choice here. Um, then, I think Dan's team in response would probably want to cut. Um, Cut the NBN, like you said, because they're not going to have a link runner. And I was hoping that a lot of teams would have picked a lot more link on their yeah. uh, things, but I guess a lot of people, I wasn't really expecting a lot of making news. I thought it was just like a generic ID, but I guess since there's so much things that benefit with your tags, and I put Sunny as an option. Yeah. And I thought people would have been moved away from it, but I guess. Uh, Right. Looks like they're ready so to go, so we're yeah. going to start the timer. So, uh, I assume, yep, yeah, they're randomly deciding on who goes picks first. And it looks like they're just discussing on who's getting what. So, I feel like... I think that Kumar's team ended up yeah, getting Yeah, Kumar's team ended up going again. first, because they're just seems like they're discussing on, yep, yeah, get rid of Kim. <laughs> Shocker! And no, no love for the Koreans. Uh, I mean, as Koreans, you, Sungo, you, you should made you should have made Kim unbannable. <laughs> He's the one with the ban hammer. How are you gonna yeah. ban the guy with the ban hammer? <laughs> you could only ban Kim if you had a Kim, which I guess, I guess that makes sense in this one. <laughs> uh, wow, smoke! Huh. No, that, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I actually I like that, too. Because, like, Tenon doesn't want smoke, right? No. Yeah, Scorpius doesn't really want smoke. No, you're although, right. We, although we saw a Scorpius deck pick apart a smoke deck. But that's, I think that, I feel like that was more, that's like, That's just an irregularity yeah. because Adam ended up choosing Magnum Opus as his uh, restricted card rather than Clone Chip, as some other people did. Yeah. Oh, they got rid of Scorpius as I expected. So, at least I called shot at uh, Dan's. Or Matthew's side, uh -huh. but I was way off on uh, Dan's side here. So, so it's Spark and Spark, Tenon, 
Smoke and Ken, Ken or for, Tenma. Yeah, for Dan's team. And then Matthews deciding on uh, Scorpios, MBN, yep. uh, Kim, and Santiago, I think. And every time I've seen Matthew Kumar play, he's always selected making news. So I think they, yeah. I think both teams have already predetermined on what side mm-hmm. to play what, depending on what gets banned. Yeah. So yeah, I like it. I, you know, most people prefer playing the deck that they're more comfortable with. And uh, this is not a, uh, uh, this is not an FFG sanctioned. We use dice. <laughs> I'll use dice forever. Like the oh, the weird God. thing is for me is I play I play a bunch of FFG games. Like I play um, L five R. I mean, I I claim to play Netrunner, but uh, that's it's weird. <laughs> yeah, like for me, <laughs> I'm not into L five R, but I go to yeah. every L five R. Yeah, but I, the funny thing is I'll use tokens for like every other FFG game, but for yeah. some reason, because I think it's when I first started playing Netrunner, I insisted on using dice. Because uh, you know what, I feel like it's in, just easier to. Yeah, for me in Netrunner, like the the amount of credits that you gain and lose change so often over the course of a turn yeah. that it's just like blah, 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 blah. yeah. I know, I, I I agree completely. Yeah. So um, uh, one of the one of the viewers asked if the Tenon deck was operation heavy. It is quite a bit. I actually yeah. got, uh, I actually have a copy of the list and I'll pull it up right now. Well, I would assume like the usual suspects like Shipman from Tenon, yep. maybe Trick of Light. I don't know. If yep. it would, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's basically a, a kind of like a Jinteki fast advance deck, more or less. Lock the runner out early. Get those uh, get those tokens or those advancements counters, and then you just go ham with your uh, agendas. And Matthew so Matthew Kumar's rocking the the Muji pencil case, which is like I, I don't know if anybody I, I don't know if they have like Muji stores outside of Toronto. They must. Have I Muji think stores. so. Yeah, I mean it's a Japanese so. store, so yeah. I mean I, of course there's gonna be one outside of Toronto, but it's like one of those stores that sells like bedding and pencil cases. Yes, yes. It's like it's a so weird, weird. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's such an odd. Uh, <laughs> But everything's like super simple, like austere. Yes. Yes. Like there's no like designs on anything, and it's just like super simple plastic. Like I guess some people really like that aesthetic. Ooh, Dan's hand is sick. It's uh, like the Sung Ho hand. Sure gamble, sure gamble. Mo- money and cards, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think they called the judge over. So we're gonna. Matthew starts with a resistor on. Research and development. Also, ice is up. HQ and door to door. Oh, this is this deck. It's the Arabiata Tech door to door. Dan's got to take a quick look at the cards. So we're going to bring it up on the screen right now. So, door to door is a current that uh, at the start of the runner's turn, it's trace one. If successful, do one meat damage. Uh, if the runner is tagged, otherwise, the runner takes one tag. Obviously, very good with uh, NBN's ID, which gives him two credits every turn to use on traces. So, very strong play on turn one because before the runner can do anything, they're immediately hit with the, either a tag or a meat damage if they don't win the trace. So, uh, if they don't end up, yeah, if, if they take the tag or if they, if they try to beat the trace, then immediately you're off sure gamble money. So we see a sure gamble in Dan's hand, so he had to take the tag here. Which uh, lets him play the sure gamble, but now he's going to have to spend a click and two credits to get rid of the tag. Uh, he's going to double sure gamble first. Oh, Kumar had a uh, door to door, yeah. Door to door at the start. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, see, see what his third click is. Earth, up, oh, career fair in Earthrise Hotel. Click four is break the tag. I'm 99% sure that's what's going to happen. Wow, this deck is quite oppressive. Eh? Look yeah. at all these uh, Bernice so, Mize and. So this is uh, this is I don't know if there's an Arabiata <coughs> tech in here, but uh, there is. That's really interesting. Wow, he dropped a Bernice Mai alongside the uh, whatever that political 
commercial it's a bankers commercial group. Commercial bankers group, yeah. It's like a pseudo MVT, virtual Mumba virtual tour. Yeah, that's true. Except you gain money off of the uh, traces if you have a bot attack in play. And it's actually nice too, because like not a lot of people will actually trash the uh, yeah the Bernice mine, right? Whereas they have to trash Mumba virtual tour. So turning wheel on Dan's side. Uh, playing his multi-access early. We'll see if Dan ends up having the same trouble that Adam did in the previous round, trying no, to find this his this is actually a pretty nice... Uh, oh, oh, sticks yeah. with a tag. Oh, oh worst. That's it's a new sound, but normally yeah. it's just a trace for a tag, but because there's a current in play... It's, it's a good gonna, old yeah, ETR. ETR yeah. Man, it reminds me of the old, those old uh, New Angeles Sol decks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I really love playing those decks. It was like, it wasn't, it was a, a, at the time oh, no. when... Um, this is not good. Oh, I guess it's not bad because Matthew doesn't really have that much money. Actually, this is okay. I was getting a little worried a bit, but... Because I was really worried that he might just do yeah. like a credit and then... Or like if he had five, he could just do a... Uh... Now, what was that that he installed? Uh, Daily Business Show. DBS. It's man. Matt, Matt's applying the chokehold early now. He's That's gotta, really a like, yeah. It's very um, frustrating to deal with that turn one. It's just yeah. you're just like I, my clicks are always set to remove tag. Yep. Hey, remove tag. And like now, are we is is Matthew pumping all the credits into the trace? Like, are we seeing that? Oh, hold on. All right. It's called away. Oh, okay. So Dan has a little bit more luck than uh, than Adam, at least, finding a self-modifying code. Oh, I didn't see what he buried there. This is a very good start for Kumar. Yeah. I mean, sure, the credit swing helps uh, Dan a little as well, so that. Uh, and he has that. He has that consulting visit ready, basically anytime Dan decides to make a run, a run yeah. on one of so his he just things. Hits a yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be brutal. Like, uh, Kumar is very very secure. Uh, his econ is just rock solid right now. Yeah. If if Dan tries to trash it, he's gonna be in a world of pain. Wow, chooses to pay for it this time. Why would that be the case? Just so that he doesn't have to waste a click and two yeah. credits to try to get rid of it? Yeah, he he might be uh, he might be um, worried just about like falling behind in clicks too much. Yeah, this is really. I think Dan wants to do uh, you know Nemerker index, try to grab a dagger and just break through. But once he does that, he's going to get locked out of, um, what do you call it, hard-hitting news off of the, uh, right? Well, it's either you die by a death by a thousand cuts or you just take the hard-hitting news. It all depends on if Dan has a misdirection in his deck. I think, Yeah. I, I, I think so. Most smoke decks use it as a one-of to stop, uh, yeah. you know, tag me. Around feedback cuts so they don't take a bunch of net damage. I mean, we saw it on uh, Adam's deck, right? So if, it, if Adam does it, most likely Dan does it too. Oh. Just look at that, eh? Like, Dan got nine credits all of it, now he's down to like six. Yeah. Like, that's just how fast that credit pool disappears because of door to door. door, -to -door. Like, Oh, he naturally drew the refractor, though. Uh, that's not. That's not bad. Yeah, it's I a mean, cheap uh, program to install so that he can just yeah. like, uh, ooh, tuck that agenda right to the bottom, right? You don't want to do that right now. Uh, yeah. Do, uh, do we know if it was a code gate that that's in that remote? Do we know what that ice is? Uh, I think it's a news hound. Yeah, 
I think you, you jam an agenda here, yes? Does he have an agenda in him? Yeah, he's got Project Beal. I'd put the... Um, i put the... Oh, sorry, not a Project... What is that? I don't, well, so he installs an Archangel first in that remote. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah it, is it's a, a it is a Project Beal, yeah. He's got another door-to-door -door in case uh, Dan snipes his agenda. But yeah, he's going to go ahead and, and install it. Uh, drew a Bernie Smy for his third click. I like this. I like this yeah. a lot. Like, force Dan to either commit to run it where he's going to lose a bunch of cards, or yeah. he's going to just sit behind it. Now, I think what Kumar should be doing uh, is managing his money flow, too. Because yes. I suspect Dan is running a tapworm. Yeah. I'm almost certain that he is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Usually these decks uh, yeah. don't have a lot of ways to uh, consistently... Uh, yeah. So it looks like Dan, for his first couple of clicks, takes two bucks. And he's going to indexing. Yeah. And grab, uh, you said dagger, I think? Yeah, uh, dagger. Sentry breaker here. Oh, uh, what? Does he have it in there? Hopefully. He must have just missed uh, look through. Yeah. It's right yeah, at the top. It's all <laughs> feel bad. <laughs> no, uh, well, I mean. Whatever, I mean... Whatever. You need it's whatever. It. Yeah. So now this is going to cost him uh, the smoke stealth credit yep. to pump. Yep. And then it's going to cost him two real credits. Gets the net marker credit, though. Um, this is bad times, though, because he's gonna he's about to get hard-hitting news. Yes. Yeah. If he doesn't see any agendas off of this, this is also yeah. going to be really, really bad. But I think so. We'll see. Well, it. he's indexing, right? But now he's got to actually... Um, so this is click three, right? Uh, that is correct. So he needs to money up to run again. Like he no, doesn't he have could, he could uh, pump with a mint marker to get a yeah. credit and then break. But he will have to take a tag if... If there's an agenda for him, then no, he but pumps. he has zero money. Like he can, he only has the one net marker credit. Yeah. So he pumps. Yeah. To get up to five, and then he gets a credit right back. Ah, okay. Is that how it works? Is it once per run? Yep. Okay. It's been a while since I've played with net marker. Yeah, it's uh. I don't think you go for it. Yeah, you just don't. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. Yeah, you jam a Rabiata tech, right? Yeah, Rabiata tech way better here. Yeah, so the, you, so you play at Rabiata tech, then you... Uh, no, you do the... Uh, then you consulting visit, right? Yeah. And so yeah. then he loses his, his money when he gets traced. Oh man, and then he takes... Oh jeez. Yeah. yeah, that was really it's, bad. I think Dan this, made this a might be a, this putting might be a quick the wrong game, cards yeah. on the uh, side. Whoa, he... Okay. I guess, uh, maybe. Oh, interesting. All right. So yeah, he's gonna he's gonna res. Uh, so he he installed the rabbit tech, advanced twice. I think he's going for a three point deal here. Yeah, um, I like it. Yeah. Trace two can't really. Yeah. Do anything about that? Yep. Makes him take a tag. So you take and a tag and you lose. Oh a dollar no, he and could uh, he could money. pay off a of Nemerker if That's he wanted true. to. And oh, Dan <clears throat> sees it. You know what? Yeah. Oh no, he just no. takes the tag. He'll remember next time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, if Matthew, uh, sorry, if he paid the net marker credit, I think that's still good for Dan. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, not good for Dan. No, it's good, good for, for Kumar, Matt. Yeah. yeah, Kumar. But then it forces that um, Dan has to make another run yeah. to put a counter on the marker, and that's what Matthew wants him to do. I think I think Kumar wants to save the uh, consulting visit for later, like. There's no incentive for him to do it now. Uh, I know it was nice yeah. to get him four tags and keep doing a medium damage every turn, but the objective of the game is to score seven points, which he can do just will, uh, behind this the whole way. Because like he can't he can't run and break that because 
you know, Archangel is 6. So you can't even refract to Pump Break. Yeah. Credit, credit. And the, the thing about Smoke Decks is that once you... Uh, once you're set up, you don't need a lot of money to to break, but it's it's really that setup that costs that money. So yeah. you need that initial burst. And oh, wow. Dan's like kind of like half set up here, so <laughs> the third card must be an agenda. <laughs> yeah. Okay, access. Uh, two. First card, no. Second card, there's the Beal. So there goes the door to door, but that's okay because. Pretty sure Kumar has another one. Yes, he does. Yeah. But he's just going to, I think he's just going to score out the... Uh, BL for three? Yeah, his BL. Although, I don't know, he's in no rush. Like, it would be pretty funny if he just kept advancing the BL and not... <laughs> what? Yeah, just... Yeah. I would I would Go do for the a four-point BL, why not? Yeah, a four-point BL. You're not rushed to do it now. You have, you have the money to rush everything, yeah. And then door-to-door -door just gains you a credit because... Yep. Uh, No, he's just gonna draw. I would advance twice. You have a lot of money. Those lines aren't cheap. Oh, yeah. Those... yeah, he advanced. So that's uh, that means that next turn, even if he advanced three times, he's still gonna end up with a three point deal. So uh, I think he's he's either going to advance twice, score, install, or he's just gonna keep advancing it. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna I wanna see how high uh, <laughs> uh, how how uh, how far Matthew pushes his luck here with this deal. I keep going. I would too. It's like, like it's just it's just funny, you know, like <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It's funny because Dan also loves playing BO to go up to seven yeah. points himself. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs the psychographics when you just keep your opponent dirt poor? Oh yeah. Oh dear. <sighs> Who's me? Draw instead. Draw, draw. Oh no, install. Wow, he's just gonna say, F it, I'm gonna be tagged now. Okay. Yeah, at some point, right? You gotta go tag me. I mean, you're gonna lose the net marker, it's really gonna suck. Oh, oh wow. Damn. Oh, he keeps the. Baker's goes better than uh, launch campaign. No, but he kept the launch campaign, didn't he? Or no? no? He, he grabbed the Baker's. Okay. I mean, it's funny. If you get if you do the first one with Bankers Group and buy my, yeah. why not do the other one with, with and my? This this uh, NBN deck looks really fun to play. I mean, not for your opponent, but <laughs> <laughs> I love your reclarification. Yeah. Not for your opponent, but for me. <laughs> yep. So he, uh, he did a bunch of installing, and then he uh, trashes the net marker. Door to door, oh, trace the fires. Other Gets the meat damage off. I really don't know what Dan could do at this point to play a current of his own. Yeah, but I don't think that my my smoke deck does not have space to put a, a current in, and it's no. already running 45. It's a 45 smoke. Crazy. Ooh, equivocation that will not help. <sighs> Running R&D, do we know what the second ice on the R&D is? 
It must be a pop-up window. Yeah. I mean, just something small, but... Or maybe run HQ. I don't know. I, I don't think there's... If I was Dan, I wouldn't think there was any agendas in, uh, in Kumar's hands, so... No. Oh, 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 sink break. So you kept the sink free? Yep. It's another piece of ice. Yeah. I like that. Yep. Oh, <laughs> that's so sick in a remote. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Kumar's deck has macrophage. I hope so. That's so yeah. sick if he does. You know, it get, oh, Gauntlet got discarded. Macrophage, <laughs> that Macrophage Rabiata tech combo, I've like got people with it a couple of times, and at first they don't understand what's going on, <laughs> which makes it all the. But it slowly dawns on them when you're like, okay, Trace. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> like, what? I have no, I have nothing to trash. Yep. Or exactly. nothing to, uh, nothing to remove. Yep. Or, like, what? No, not with this money. <laughs> Mm. Uh, Who would have thought making news would be the new asset span? Oh yeah, just run into R&D HQ a bunch. So right now, five, five, five advanced encounters on the so field. That's three. It's three points. Yep. If he advanced three times, gets him to four. If he has it three more times, it goes to six. Yeah. Just I do mean, it. This, that's all you do for the rest of the game, right? <laughs> you gain, you gain net three every time yeah. on your turn. And then you gain one off of Danster. This is like this is like a pillow fort at its finest. This is pillow fort netrunner. Man, I didn't want to play this deck tomorrow, but <laughs> it looks like I'm gonna have to build, make it because it's yeah, man, I, very fun. I don't know how how good do you think it is though? It it would be in uh, in like the in the non King of Servers two v two environment. Why not? It's, I mean, like, yeah. there's only one revised core yep. difference, but most of the cards are still pretty good. Maybe. Yeah. One, two. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He keeps getting money off of that. <laughs> Forgot. <laughs> oh, no. I would. As Kumar, yeah, I would uh, stop advancing that uh, veal real quick, yeah. uh -huh. and just trash the turning wheel. That's his big yeah. way to score. Yep. Right. Definitely. Like, one, two. Yeah, because even if, if you take a uh, one. Oh, action. look at that! Eh? Nice. Look at that! I did the. You can't, you can't hear us. You don't think you can hear us, can you? <laughs> no, no. I really hope. No, you can, no, no. He's not. Okay. We're pretty. We're talking pretty quiet. Yeah. yeah. No, they can't hear us. It's it's super stupid loud right now. So the the bill right now is up to uh, was it uh, two, three, four, five, five and a half. So two, three, four, five and a half. Yeah. So he wins next turn. Six, seven. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> this is so funny. Is, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Just the it's like the sleeper holder. Like. Ugh. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> He's reading his own agenda. <laughs> 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 it's so funny. What could this be? Oh, right on time. Psychographics. <laughs> Something got one tag, but still. Just do the BM psychographics for one tag. So <laughs> Oh, no, Kumar should have played Psychographics for one. 
Yeah, now we, now we think Kumar's explaining to Dan, uh, yeah, this is how I get seven points. So, that, congratulations. <laughs> hey. Uh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> now, do you keep running just to negate Tenon's ability? Well, your archives is open, right? I mean, do you waste a click to do that? Man, it's been so long since I played a Tenon deck. Like, I guess so, but you know what? The funny thing is, in a way, that's kind of like uh, having a free MCA austerity policy as yes. Tenon. <laughs> if you're just making archive runs just to prevent yeah. your opponent uh, from just getting. I think a, I think Matthew counter. did run because yeah. he didn't get a counter. Okay. Now he's just gonna defense up so he yep. can do it now. Hold up. So I see, uh, see an obelisk in Matt's uh, hand, so I yeah. strongly suspect this is another God of War counter surveillance. Uh... It's Maw. Oh, it's Maw? Okay. Yeah, it's actually a fair Kim this time. What? I know, right? What were they thinking? Fair, fair Kim. Oh, and then there's DDoS, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and then the fairness just left the door. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, this looks like back orchestra. So. So click one draw. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, Matthew doesn't have any breakers, right? So you just, like, you don't want to run into a Kalmina face check or anything like that. Or a Cortex Lock face check. That'd be bad, too. Ooh, Gang Sign. You know that triggers off Mai. Eh? Oh, yeah, when you, like, yeah, access it. Yeah, because of each God. turn, right? The combos. But that's a restricted card, too, right? It so is. That's, oh. So they, they know now what the restricted card is. Oh, Cortex Lock. That would be painful if he plays Maul. <laughs> oh, you got no cards in it? Or not enough cards? Oh, okay. No. Oh, is he, is he going to try to rush something out? or? No, uh, I think he's just setting up. Okay. I would have forced a, a run. Like, looks like Career Fair? Yeah, it looks like Career Fair. Yep. Yeah. Let's draw again. Liberated, looks like. I mean, you just keep drawing. You, you need to find a breaker. Like now, I, I don't know. Is this guy running? Uh, sorry, is uh, is Kumar's uh, deck running, making an entrance? Do you know if it's any at all similar to what we saw last round on uh, on stream with uh, Dean's deck? No, no, it's not. Uh... <clears throat> I guess that works. Install. What did you, did you know? What he installed? It was a uh, full out of entanglement. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a, it's a pretty good move. I mean, either way, you kind of win. Yep. Uh, even if your opponent steals it. <laughs> are you Are you asking in general? Uh, Republic's Republic human, Republic human. Um, How is liberated anarchy? I don't know. You're you're liberating the money from the bourgeoisie or something. Is it that? Is it that whole theme? <coughs> Man, another gang sign. Here comes him. Oh, if he runs the no. No, well he's not gonna run. No, he's, he's just gonna, gonna wait gonna, until. Gonna yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And Dan's not running any uh, traps, right? Like no snares or anything like that, right? I can confirm. Oh no, he, he okay. runs Junebug, so there run is Jun. traps. Uh, but nothing that would result in a nasty surprise from accessing with uh, Gang Sign. Ooh, Mushin. I he think it's the Junebug. Yeah, he, he must have Mushin the Junebug. And then double advance. Yeah.
Yeah, what was it? What happens if you advance a public agenda face down? How does that happen? Oh, you mean like they just forgot? <laughs> yeah. Uh, public agenda. I feel like that's uh, like if you were just going strictly by the the rules of the game, that's like <laughs> misrepresenting the game state or something. Yeah. And it might just be a warning depending on how you investigate it. But this wasn't like. Uh, I get. I, okay. Yeah. But the thing is, a, turn, a full turn has passed since then. But yeah. Events they seem now. to. They seem to not like the uh, the assessment that I made. But I mean, I think that's how it works, right? Like, it's not like it's been there for like three or four turns. So three gang sign triggers here. Okay. So ma? no ma ma. Oh what? No ma. I think I think he's ma here. No. What? What just oh, happened? He Kim. He trashed with Kim. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So now he's mine because he's not he's not trashing it. Yeah. Okay, that was the second gang sign access, and now he gets one more. Oh my god. Just rip the hand, eh? Oh, <laughs> get rid of that too. That was that was almost worth giving up two points for uh... I like that actually. Uh, Crazy. <clears throat> oh, another June bug. But I think at this point it's fairly obvious that uh, that advanced card did is Kumar lose any other conspiracy breakers during that uh, I don't think so because I only saw a black orchestra and uh, yeah. paperclip no ultra yet eh nope okay what's going on You must have taken an extra click without. Yeah. All right. Click one liberated. It looks like it's a bunch of like advanceable traps. Right. Like overriders and what have you. So mm -hmm. like, I guess hitting it to that isn't so bad. But I agree. Like that seems a little risky, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if Dan's actually running any snares or anything. Like, I think this is all just like shell game, Mushin right. Notion, right? Yeah. So, uh, accessing things like Cerebral Override or Project Junebug is not that big of a deal. Like, I don't think Dan's running snares or breach domes or uh, any of that nickel and dime stuff. Ooh, I like it. Install so, double advance. Yeah, this is the other Junebug, yes. Yep. Yeah. I would let's just let this go. I mean, you could, like, DDoS to get in if you really wanted to. Now, what's, what's the combo with DDoS in Matt and Kumar's deck? Do you know? Is there I think it's just an easy way to get uh, into a server without having to need a breaker. Right. Yeah. Let's check it out. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice. Really? But uh, that just means... No, no, you can't... You uh, yeah, can't yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see what the inner, outermost was. Oh. Porto. So, does he have... That's a code gate, yes? Yep. So you can bring yeah, out yep. orchestra, yeah, and he has the money to pay for this, so yep. this is actually going to be pretty bad for uh, Kumar. I think I think Kumar's caught on to Dan, uh, the fact that those both those advanced cards are just traps here. <laughs> Good assessment. Good assessment. I see that's all five. Looking at the side of the cam monitor again to see yeah. if I can see a good look. I don't think I don't. no agendas. Man, bad, no agendas. bad pull there. But at least we can put the mass commercialization to the bottom. Uh, yeah, that's to the true. Money. Yeah. Because Dan only has five bucks. It's the last card you want him to draw. Yeah. Oh, looks like uh, Kumar is thinking the same idea. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Because there's also a celebrity <laughs> gift in the deck. There I'm is. Sorry, in that pile. So. All right. Wrong now, hands. Now, that, that wasn't an access, right? So Ma doesn't trigger. No. Yeah. No. Let's go hand. 
I know there isn't an agenda there, but... Yeah. Seems... Oh, can't res. Oh, no. No, no, Stop. no. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Matthew, Matthew's wise to it. Got some free information out of that, too. Okay, Koma Inu. Ma, 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 ma. And... Let me confirm. Huh, interesting. So we just got Sung Ho uh, taking a look at the deck list to see if it is indeed a Dan's restricted card is Obokata Protocol. I haven't seen any other restricted cards so far in Dan's list. Uh, he does have a shipment from Tenen. It's another DDoS from Matt Kumar. And uh, we do know that Dan is drawing a little bit dead for the next couple of draws, so it's going to be kind of awkward for him. It's going to give uh, Matthew some time to uh, further uh, set up his yep. board if he needs to. Uh, yep, Sungho just confirmed <coughs> that Dan's restricted card is indeed the Avocado Protocol. Uh, Matthew not really drawing anything exciting himself. I think I think uh, Kumar just wants to wait until he finds uh, an MK Ultra so that he's right. set to go. Really want to hit 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 hitting into a uh, a cent uh, century just like that. Yep. I mean, sure he did get rid of a uh, he get rid of a yep. Kumainu out of it, but you know. If he's running one, he's probably running more. Oh, trash that bad boy. Bye. Oh, no, no, no. no. Oh, I, I think he momentarily forgot about his... Uh... I believe you have to, right? Well, I mean, it happened anyway. Yep. <laughs> it happened to be the right card. All right. I wonder. No. No. You need to access to hit the... Uh... Chimba. No. Draw again. Draw again. Uh, well, well, but what more do you need? You just need the MK Ultra, right? For the Komaini? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Well, so what is the ideal number of cards in your hand if you want to if you want to break Komaini with MK Ultra? To save the most amount of money. Is it like two cards? Two cards, yeah. Yeah. Probably the best is to have four so that you could steal on Obakata if oh, that's there true, is yeah. one. But that's like six bucks to break Komaini. It is. It is. Uh, it is painful. This is true. I'd run hand just for a credit and just trash whatever that card is. Yep. <clears throat> I or think that's a just, good idea. Or just go to work. That is nice, too. Uh, I'm just going to give a timing warning for the rest of the... Oops. So as uh, Sung Ho had outlined at the beginning of this tournament, once uh, the game time goes down to about 10 minutes left in the round, uh, players are no longer allowed to uh, confer with their teammates when trying to make in-game decisions. Uh, as uh, when time is running down, time is of the essence. So it's important that players play at a proper pace. That is true, yes, uh, Roland. However, it does help recover from an Obokata, and just in case you're worried about, uh, like, say it's your last click or whatever, uh, you're worried about um, being uh, neural EMP'd out of the game after taking four net damage. So Ma doing uh, lots of work, pitching a bunch of ice. Activist meeting comes down on Matthew's side. Uh, not sure how much that's going to do, though. And this looks like it's a. Uh, it looks like it's a medical breakthrough that Dan just drew. Um, now, 
the third install advance advance. Uh, that might not trick Matthew Kumar this time. What happened? Uh, so we install advance advance and medical breakthrough. Wow. Yeah. And I think, I think Kumar at this point is actually thinking, hmm, this, if this is an Obakata protocol, can I steal it? <laughs> I guess Kumar can hear us. Oh, so he, do, hear he does run it. Jeez. Wow. Kumar is on point with these, uh, with these calls. So Dan needs to probably find trick of lights um, if he's going to want to get any use out of those. He drew another. Oh, is that a second medical breakthrough? I can't tell if the he, he installed that card or he just put it face down uh, <laughs> as part of his hand. I think part of his hand. Yeah. This is a medical breakthrough, right? Yeah. I like it because it feels like anything but a medical breakthrough. Um, how many cards are in Kumar's hand? Five cards. I think. Uh, so if Kumar is really worried, yeah. he could. I have a worse draw, run. Yep. And now he's now I think Kumar is taking a look at the discard pile, trying to figure out uh, how many traps he has to worry about. Maybe he's uh, counting influence a bit, perhaps. Yeah. Check the June bug. Oh no. Uh, it's not that bad. It's three cards. <clears throat> oh, he did toss an um, ultra. Never mind. So that's uh, that potentially is. Uh, well, I was gonna say it was three net damage, but he does have the MK ultra, yep. and he has a data sucker token to make this uh, a little bit more palatable in terms of uh, credit breaking. Yep, reduce it down yep. to three strength. But Great. this is a June bug, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he just wants to check. Bam, four net damage. That's uh, one card to be remaining in Kumar's hand. Activist, I've had worse. <coughs> okay, he's going to finish resolving the rest of the damage. Ooh. Draw six cards. Wow. Jeez. Okay, and he draws into another I've had worse. So, I, I, I mean, I feel like that was a free roll for him. Yep. The only thing he would have been worried about was whether or not he was going to run into a cerebral overrider. That would have been a disaster. That would have been bad. 
And now, is he electing Wait. not to trash it? Do you have to res to access that? I thought they just access it and they just take damage. No? Yeah. Why did he lose a card for that? Did he res it? I don't know. Oh. Weird. Okay. That's clip one. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess Kumar doesn't want to actually run that, eh? Maybe he's actually opting to not, uh... <laughs> Might get to the 10 minute war limit, so we'll check. Yep. Close to it, but <clears throat> I mean, the best part of Ma is if you got no cards in hand, you don't lose anything. No, sir, you do not. Inject more hand size. Oof. <laughs> Okay. That's economy if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Just run it, right? Like, you have now eight cards in hand? Yeah. Or seven, I mean. Oh. R&D. Oh, boy. Now that... That's going to be expensive for Black Orchestra. But Six, he, I believe. Yeah, he has a lot of money, though. I mean, who cares? But this is only for a single axis, isn't it? Uh-huh. Crazy. And, and he has to deal with the boredom, too. Wow. <clears throat> you think that Anarch would have a lot of ways to gain money, and then it's like, oh, it's single run, and you lose, like, yeah. basically all the money you just gained. Yep. Match. Or no. Break, break. Yep. Yep. I mean, if Kumar doesn't really mind losing a single card from hand, do you even bother, uh... I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Prisium. And now he has to remember to discard a card at he random. Can't, he can't do it if he has no oh, cards. Oh, he has no hand. cards? Okay. So Sungo's just gonna correct Sungo's just gonna correct the game state in that in that case. So uh, that just means that the data sucker is gonna fire because it it ends up counting as being a successful run. <laughs> yeah, they forgot about the. There's a card there that. <sighs> that helps to get the money back. Mm -hmm. He needs to find uh, some form of multi access, though, aside from Gang Sign. Or maybe Gang Sign is his multi access, I don't know. There's another Project June bug that uh, Dan just drew. I think it's the 10 minute Yes, it is.
Looks like uh, Matt's conferring with uh, Mikhail. <clears throat> Uh, over what, I'm not sure. Uh, might be trying to figure out how many face down cards are in archives. Maybe it's worth making a run there. has no multi-access card. No? No. There's not a single one in his deck that can uh, abuse that other than the uh, the gang sign. Yeah. Yeah, gang sign and Ma is just his, uh, his multi-access pretty much. This is Dan just counting the... Ooh. You know, I just... Dan actually... Uh, he was counting uh, Kumar's deck. It's not that big. No, it looks like yeah. it's le around. There's no levy too, so six actually, or something. Yeah. This is uh, this is interesting now. I mean, like, they're both only on two, uh, two points. So is U.S. multi-access? What does that stand for? I think he meant to say it is multi-access. That was a typo. Oh. oh. That makes sense. What? Where's he going? What happened? Where? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe he went into DNA track. He's like doing. Oh no oh, no! Archives. It was a Kakugo. Yeah, it was a Kakugo. That. Uh, yeah. Yeah yeah. He's, I mean, I guess I'll just settle for a true tie because. <laughs> Trash Slugger with Kim's ability. hard to pay nine credits to do a single access. That seems very brutal. Alright, I just stop the uh, data sucker counter. Oh. 
are very reliable in yeah. terms of like one shot use but they're so super expensive yeah, I know. so expensive how much damage he taking there? Yeah. that might be the next play I mean, he has yeah. no cards in hand yeah. that's why yeah he can't access something isn't there so he's just he chooses two cards is it DDoS and something that doesn't matter at least it didn't lose day job. Yeah. Losing another economy card. But it looks is... like uh, Kumar only has three cards left in his deck. Yeah. Man, that is risky. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, Dan doesn't even have to score anything anymore. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is, yeah. Just game money and draw. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, draw for turn. Looks like Dan's deck is also running a little small too, but. Yeah, I think Kumar's in much bigger trouble, but... Yep. Huh. Yeah, I think now you run hands. Yeah. Or day job. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like it's a hedge fund something. Credit hedge. <laughs> there isn't really much to look for here, like on HQ, right? Oof. Oof. Man, that's gonna be Yep, P6. And then K9. Wow. R and D and HQ did both cost nine to get in. Maybe more with uh And Kumar's yeah, getting very close to the point where he's just gonna have to start clicking for credit, so it's not Yeah. <laughs> he burned through a lot of his economy cards yeah. really early, so Trick of light. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. No. I feel like uh, I feel like Dan hasn't seen any agendas. Like there's only been two. Ugh. It just means he's about to get flooded. I there's feel like, so many. I know. He's gonna. He's gonna, He's about to be. Credit for three. Uh, right. Like you don't yeah. have the luxury of. Oh man, this is. I think maybe even Kubar is kind of baffled as to why uh, he hasn't seen any agendas. Any yet. agendas? <laughs> yeah. It looks like uh, Mikhail and uh, Mikhail and Luke have done their game. Yep. I'm not sure who won theirs. What do you think this is, Ice is? You think it's another Komainu? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. That's beautiful. 
Well, I think uh, it's goal time. That's time for uh, the non-feature matches. We still have two and a half minutes left for the feature match. Uh, one one Ma on the table or one Koma Inu? This is Koma Inu's on HQ. Ice Carver going down. No, I don't think. Actually, yeah, there is a, there is an agenda on the table. the uh, The top card that has four advancement counters on Dan's side is, I believe, a medical breakthrough. Why hasn't he scored it yet? Uh, maybe he's. Uh, you know what he might be trying to wait for? He's trying to wait for the third medical breakthrough, where he goes install advance advance right. Then you score the first medical breakthrough. Then you st then you can score the second one right away. I mean, I I don't know. His, Isn't it more uh, risky? I guess he... not. But I guess his opponent, his opponent thinks that uh, it, it's a trap. So, oh man, that's the last wow. two cards. Oh my gosh! So, so here's what you do now: you find, uh, you find another Kakugo, you put it in a remote, and you just keep jamming stuff behind it. You can't stop. You can't, uh... <laughs> Can't stop, won't be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> oh. Oh! Uh, so what? Like, what, what, what is... What, oh, I no, know, it's space I, camp. I know, it's I know. Space I know. Camp. Like, like, what is he going to put it on? Ice wall? Or Horda? Yeah, but I mean, that's not as big of a blow it as you think. Right? Spread it around. Ten seconds. Are they, are they wearing the time? Yeah, okay. So that's going to be time of the round. Looks like they're each going to get like one or two more turns. Uh, this might be Dan's last turn here. So it looks like he just scored the medical breakthrough. That, that puts Dan at four points. And gang sign prox, I think. I'm not sure what that dispute is right now. He's talking to Sun meeting goes away. Not that I think that matters much.
not sure what the... Maybe Matthew's trying to figure out if there's an out or something. Because as it stands, it looks like Dan might get a modified win here. He's just going to run the, the June bug. No? Yes? Why not? Boom. June bug. GG. All right. So that looks like a, this looks like it's a full win for Dan. There's a flat line.